hello, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we're far away from home because I made a mistake during the recording. Don't worry, it's only been like three minutes, but um, basically, I went out and uh, hunted down some more Kadabra and Abras and made three more telepads. And since I don't really feel like working on the basement of the house, and I do kind of want to go mining, but I figure we'll save that until like the last two episodes or something. That way, you know, I can not have to worry about stuff. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me either. I just, that's how I want to do things. Um, we're going to go exploring because I have the telepads now. Uh, we're not going north, we're going east this time, as I'm sure you can see on the map. We are going to be traveling in the atmosphere because it's generally faster. So I'll be keeping an eye on the map in the top right corner to see if there's anything interesting. Um, we're looking for the jungle biome, so... Oh, what's this? Desert? I'm actually going to come down already. Um, so yeah... Uh, I did quite a few things while uh, while I was off camera. Spent ab about a day doing stuff. Uh, footy, as you can see, higher level now. Uh, Raph, I think, is a higher level. So is Waterbeat. I don't know. Everybody got, like, a level or something like that. Footy got multiple. Footy's very close to evolving. Um, I'm hoping while we're out to catch another member of our party, um, whether that be... Whatever that is, I, I'm not sure, but we do have the Ultra Ball on us. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to end up... Uh, I'm going to end up probably... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on a second, because this looks like... Yes, it is. What the fuck is that? What the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? You're weird. Fuck this. Um, this is going to be important for us later. So, we're going to put that there, and we're going to keep flying. Oh, hey, look, a gym. Literally, a, a gym town right there. Yeah. Holy shit. Well, might as well just put this here. There's another water gym, probably. Gum town, gym town. Boom. All right. Let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, yeah. I want to try and find uh, that jungle today. At least, just just so we can have like, the, just so we can have it found. Because I'm not ready to start hunting Mew and yet, but um, I I just want to have access to the general area. I mean, when I originally left home to find the jungle, it was to... We were going... I don't, I don't know, we're just going to go east now. I'm pretty sure that's where we were going in the first place. Um, when I when I originally left home, I was going to find the jungle because A, the Mew thing. Uh, two, or B, it was going to be a good place for Footy and Raph to level up because... Bug and grass type Pokemon would be all over the place, but since that is not happening, or since we never did find it, um, you know, I kind of just decided not to bother with it since I found uh, the Taiga area and the diamonds and the obsidian and you know all that, and then the ice plains. So, but we we do need I do would like to uh, find the jungle at least within the uh, first thirty episodes. Which I know I, I I've gone back and forth on whether or not we'd uh we'd find it by then, but I th I think we can. Also I I'm going a bit too high. Kind of got to pay attention to our height. Um, this would be a good good time to fucking tell the rest of that story from earlier. Let's see, uh, where were we? Uh, I think it was trainers being, and, and by tr uh story i mean i think what was it two episodes ago maybe three I was talking about like a little bit of lore for the pixelmon stuff that i was doing which made me want to record it for youtube which i mean this lore stuff will probably never come up in actual videos as like a storyline because i'm just not talented enough to do that but um 
I, I was telling a story of, of the original Pixelmon world that I was uh, playing. So, I'll, let's let's get back to that. I've ar I've already told part of it, so um, go back and listen to that if you're just like jumping in and you're like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" Um, so, okay, F hold on. What what are what is this? This looks interesting. Before I before I tell this story, we're coming down. Because that, that thing right on the map in front of us looks interesting. I don't know what that is. Also, uh, let's see. Outside of the world. Zoeldo. Um. What the fuck? That's not showing up on the map at all. Oh. That would explain why. What is this? Like that, it's like the little... Is it this? No, it's the fucking tree. Okay. That's weird. Um, okay, so where we left off was that the... Okay, so our two trainers that don't really have names and or teams, because I never got around to doing that, or, like, thinking that up, um, just know that they are, like, newer Pokemon trainers on their journey. Um, yeah, yeah, you know what? F fucking let me catch... Let me give you, like, the footnotes or some shit. Um, whoops. I, hold on. So, basically, uh... The world has pretty much ended in a Klesmic, uh... It, a, a war happened. Everybody's fucking dead, pretty much. Uh, like... Pokemon centers are still a thing, like, ran by good Samaritans and whatnot. Um... But most of the population has been wiped out, most of the... You know what, I'm gonna quick jump off because I want to see if I can see this legendary, because it's deep, deep ocean, so... Um, but yeah, the world, world's pretty much come to an end. Um, you know, civilization is pretty much scattered. Uh, oh yeah, I need air, that's right, I do need to breathe. Um, any, any remnants of civilization are pretty much scattered, uh, Pokemon and people still coexist alongside each other, uh, Pokemon have sort of, uh, flourished in this time of despair, whereas most of everything else has, like, struggled, so, but Pokemon and people, yeah, Pokemon and people still live side by side, and, um, this story follows two trainers who have just, uh, you know, started their adventure for the first time. And, um, they basically were traveling across the world, found, uh, learned about sort of this champion level trainer that existed, uh, before the war, who is said to still be alive. And they set out to find that person to learn from them. And they eventually run into a lot of things on the way. But, uh, where we left off, the trainers had come across a dilapidated god damn there's lost shit here they'd come across a dilapidated uh pokemon center and were being chased by a mewtwo for whatever reason and they the pokemon center is full of machines that they don't know what they do uh i mean there are like the pokemon center machines but then there are other things too um, there's holes in the roof, and one of the machines looked like something has broken out of it and blew a hole in the wall. Um, the only thing that seems to be functional in this Pokemon Center is a pad that is glowing dully with energy and looks similar to the teleporter pads from the original Pokemon games in Silphco. Um, Mewtwo, having busted in like the bad motherfucker he is, uh, has scared our trainers and they fall over onto the pad and are, and they disappear from the Pokemon Center. Now, where we pick up the story is on the other side of said teleporter pad, which leads to a cabin, uh, very much like the one that I'm living in currently, which I'll try and throw up pictures of that. Um, there's a fire going. Uh, they 
can see outside the windows that it's snowing and that um, they're in a well-furnished, well-taken-care-of, you know, cabin, which seems to be out in the middle of nowhere. They can see trees um, and snow, but not much else. There's boxes everywhere. Um, there's there's just things lying about. There's machines here as well that they don't know what they do. Um, and they're just sort of confused. Um, so they're looking around. They're poking through the boxes. Um, there's miscellaneous Pokemon items, uh, bits of electronics that they don't know what they do either. Just very, like advanced like microchips just like strewn about on desks and stuff and it seems as though somebody has been there recently as the fire is the fire that is going in the fire pit is going very strong and these and so these trainers are looking around and one of them is looking out the window next to the front door and they can see what looks like a trainer with their Pokemon dragging back what appears to be more wood. Now, both of them having no idea where they are, are or who this person is, or why they are even where they are, are starting to panic a little bit, and they you know, are trying to figure out what they should do, whether they should hide, or whether they should fucking fight, but before they even have a chance to figure out what they're doing, the door opens, and in walks an older trainer that has no, I don't, I don't know, like, the, the details about this person, I just know that they're, you know, older, um... But they they walk in with uh, a bunch of wood and their Pokemon dragging in uh, a sled with wood on it as well. Uh, and this Pokemon is probably a Glaceon just because they're, you know, out in the middle of Iceland, um, which, I mean, it's pretty obvious by the snow. But uh, Iceland pretty much has, you know not a whole lot out there so it kind of makes sense for this trainer to have some sort of ice type pokemon i felt like glaceon made the most sense uh just because none of the other ice type pokemon i could think of were as cool no <laughs> uh no i just seriously have no idea what else i'd i'd give this trainer outside of a glaceon because most of the other ice types are kind of not bad they're just not great or, I don't know, the, like, Glaceon's the perfect size for, like, because I imagine Glaceon is, like, mid, mid-dog size, like, mid, mid to larger size dog, so, you know, it could be good for, um, you know, doing stuff like pulling, pulling wood on a sled and stuff like that, so that, to me, that makes sense. Um, and so... Uh, but but this older trainer is obviously not expecting visitors, and is like, oh, okay, I've got two people in my house now. What the hell is going on? Um, and so, uh, you know, there's obviously questions back and forth, like, who are you? What are you doing in my house? Who are you? Where are we? Uh, you know, what the hell's going on? Um, and so basically they end up sitting on and just fucking hashing it out like like communicating people should god this ocean is just forever this oh god this is just this is painful man my thumb hurts just from like having to press the fucking space bar all the time um so but they're they're hashing it out like communicating people should and uh so the this older trainer introduces themselves as some name that the these these two other kids slash trainers have heard of before, which is the exact person that they are looking for, um, and so we get uh, an exposition dump where basically after the war was over, this uh, veteran trainer um, was trying to 
piece together I don't know, some some way to oh hey, there's another fucking legendary. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, here I come. You know, this is a terrible idea. Good thing there's land like right there. Okay. Does anybody see a giant fucking Pokemon? That looks like a gel ascent. Goldine. Goldine. No, Goldine, Goldine, you are not a legendary. I'm sorry that this is interrupting our story, which I'm sure, you know, is riveting to the core for everybody else. Um, this is why we need a Pokemon to surf on, so I, this is, like, way easier. What is that out there? I don't know. Um, but yeah, Expedi Exposition Dump. Basically, after the war, this trainer was like, well, war's fucking over. I failed my job to uh, stop this, so I guess I'll see what I can do with uh, the remnants of society. See if I can uh, fix things here. And so, uh, you know, the whole world is sort of, like, in chaos. I mean, Pokemon 2 are, like, fucking freaking out. Legendaries are going crazy. Wait, what was that? What is that? I can't see. What is that? I think that's a... Okay. And I think that's a Blastoise down there. Mega Blastoise over there. I can't barely see it. But I think that's what it is. I kind of want to go find it. No, I don't. Yeah, that is a Mega Blastoise. Yeah. Um... But yeah, so they're trying to f they were trying to figure out what to do with the rest of humanity, like some way to keep the peace in these chaotic times. Legendaries are going fucking nuts. And they're like, well, whole world's going to shit. Best thing I can do right now is shoulder die. Oh. Um oh. Hold on, I have to do this. I can't I can't think and talk at the same time. Which I mean you know. I'm just kinda dumb when you think about it. Um no, wait, what the fuck was that? I'll have to go back and look at whatever the fuck that was. Um Okay. So yeah, the send down exposition dump Okay, best thing a scientist person thinks I can do. Okay. Um, I'm gonna need some legendary Pokemon of my own to, uh, you know, try and help keep the peace, like, you know, they, cause they, with their original team, they had tried fighting against the bad guys, and, you know, that didn't eventually work out, because, you know, six Pokemon can only do so much to, like, massive army with super weapons, so they're like, okay, need a, need a legendary Pokemon or something. But legendary Pokemon are really hard to catch. Probably not something that's viable to do, especially with how chaotic things are. So next best thing, maybe they can clone something. Well, having worked for this, you know, super evil um, fucking team or whatever, you know, they probably had some other ideas, a super weapon didn't work out, and or other stuff from other teams had tried. So, uh, some way, uh, I'm, I'm making the excuse here that they get the idea to clone Mew to try and make Mewtwo again, because Mewtwo is a very powerful Pokemon, and this, this, it'll wrap into this other things later, basically. So, either A, they spend the next couple of years either finding the DNA of Mew or catching a Mew, either or, or one of the two, probably finding DNA of Mew and then cloning Mewtwo. Um, and then they explain that, you know, they clone Mewtwo, and they're like, you know, at the time, seemed like a good idea, because, you know, I, I, need, I needed something to help me with with this whole huge shit hole that you know everybody had gotten into um but you know Mewtwo kind of had an existential crisis and fucking ooh, hey what's this I'm going on um 
had an existential crisis and fucking kind of blew up everything and ran away. Okay, so we're in Ice Plains. Is that lava then down there? Is this a... What the hell? Okay, Pokemon Center. Hold on, I'll make a... I could probably put a telepad out here because we are pretty far and we haven't found anything, so... Yeah, I'll put the... Yeah. Um, so yeah, Mewtwo fucking busts out before this veteran Pokemon trainer has a chance to even att attempt to catch it. Uh, blows a hole in the side of the house and fucking pieces out. Um, very, very clearly upset the fact that it is live. And, uh, well, I mean, okay, not it's not upset at the fact that it's live. It's like, what the fuck is going on? It's, it's like, it's kind of like the same thing that, you know, the original Mewtwo did in the fucking movies. Except, just like, instead of being a huge asshole about it, just like, fucking leaves and... It's like, well, what the fuck do I do now? Um, which leads into the whole reason why Mewtwo was chasing these kids in the first place, because that Mewtwo is actually the same Mewtwo that these, this veteran trainer had cloned, and basically considers the area home now, because, you know, that's sort of where it's born, it has nothing else to do. Um... Oh, is that a gym? That is a gym. Um, but yeah, so they, uh, okay, come on now. But Mewtwo, so the, the, like, this takes place over a couple of years, so, um, this veteran trainer and this Mewtwo, like, talked over the year, because, you know, Mewtwo could fucking talk in the movies, so I'm thinking, like, might as well be possible here, too, so, like, you know, after a couple of years of, Mewtwo being the equivalent of an angsty teen, um, you know, they sit down and fucking talk, and then this is, like, way after, like, at this point, the scientist is, like, pieced the fuck out to the idea of, like, you know, using Mewtwo as, like, well, the world is the way it is, and it's gonna have to survive, um, you know, without, what the fuck is that out there, um, but, Basically, this Mewtwo and this trainer had basically talked, and it was just like, yeah, so I, I, the whole reason why I created you was because, you know, world's going to shit, I thought, you know, maybe with your help could have potentially, you know, helped things, but, you know, it's morally weird area, but, and th this is basically as far as I got. It, with the idea in my head is that um you know that that was the idea is that you know veteran trainer makes me to and then to to help keep the peace or something like that and then Mewtwo's fucks out of there because Mewtwo's a really strong pokemon and then basically stuff happens and so because Mewtwo kind of destroyed parts of the house um the veteran trainer just fucking leaves and it's like, all right, well, I failed and I guess I will just retreat and help in other ways. And so they ended up moving out into like the middle of nowhere and are doing other experiments with, uh, with things mostly like, uh, cloning Pokemon, like, uh, well, not cloning. It's like, you know, reviving Pokemon doing like the fossil, uh, revitalization stuff um but you know that that ends up not really leading anywhere either except for like um the veteran trainer eventually just releases the like clone uh these revived pokemon back into the wild to uh you know thrive which you know <laughs> maybe not the best idea i don't know M maybe that doesn't happen that's just like the idea i had in my head these these mind fan fictions just sort of go wherever the hell i feel like at the time um
this this episode's kind of dragging on for a little bit longer than I'd like. And, you know, I might just stop my recording session somewhere in here for today anyways, just because I still have two or three more episodes left and I feel like I'm running out of things to talk about. So I might just end up, uh, you know, stopping for the day, uploading these. Oh, that's a water temple. It's too bad there's like literally no point in me going down there. I don't think, anyways. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Th that's just where, like, these ideas go, and then I didn't really explore it past that. I think the idea was going to be, you know, after this, like, these trainers would still, tra like, ask to be trained by this person, they would get stronger, and... I don't know if there was a larger point to it. I think it was just going to be like they get stronger and then they go out and start making a, a bigger difference in the world. Like they don't rival. Like once they leave, they don't rival this this veteran trainer, but they were like still formidable at this point. Like they they do get quite a bit stronger, and uh, you know understand like their Pokemon better and how to best not use them, but, like, how to best, you know, utilize their abilities and fights and stuff like that, and I don't know, it would have gone on from there. I never, uh, you know, since I haven't played much on the file where I got this idea from, I haven't really thought about it too much since then, because usually it's just, like, <clears throat> while I'm, uh, you know, mining away, I think there's a town over there, yeah, Usually while I'm mining away uh, at a, you know, underground for materials, I'll just think about this stuff or something like that. Just just get me something else to do. I like to multitask usually when I'm mining. Speaking of which, next episode, going to be mining uh, because, or am I going to stop? Am I going to stop? I don't know. Um, before we do stop, though, let's see if there is a blacksmith around here, because we tend to get pretty lucky with that sort of stuff. And if there's a blacksmith, well, that's free shit. Who knows? More diamonds. Um, though I am not seeing the blacksmith area or house area building. I don't see the blacksmith building which usually has, like, the flat roof. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say there's not one here. But that's fine, because the episode needs to end. I need to pee. Um, I'm going to put this telepad here. Uh, we'll call it... Uh, we'll just call it Far East. Something like that. Yeah, call it good. All right, thank you for watching. Thanks for also putting up with my fan fictions again, because I just enjoy talking about these ideas that I have. I hope you enjoy it. I hope this wasn't too messy. I th I'm not sure if I'm going to keep recording. I think I might just end it off here for today. This should get me through to till... Uh, Thursday. Thursday or Friday. I don't know. There might be a lot coming out on Friday. So, just keep an eye out. I don't know. This could be on, out on Friday. Uh, but this episode has gone on long enough. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, slash weekend, slash day, I don't know. Or night. Who knows? You could be night. Enjoy your night. Have sleep well. I love you. Don't eat too much before bed. Don't want to have bad dreams. That might be a false thing but anyways goodbye